The Sweetwater Mustangs are on a pursuit of perfection, but there's more to this senior class than what's on the field. It's one man who's left a lasting impact. January 12th, 2009. That's the date Josh Gilbert slipped into a coma with liver and kidney failure. He woke up a week later, and that's when his life changed forever. I was battling going through dialysis, and then as I was going through dialysis, I needed something to do during the day. Jack Post asked me to come help assist with their travel team. So I, that got me out of the house. On that travel baseball team, three sixth grade boys, Isaiah McGee, Ray Amos, and Keegan Jeffrey. When I first met Josh, you know, I didn't know who he was or what he was about, you know, because he had just came into our life. But then as he started progressing, we started getting closer. It's like, man, this, he, this dude really cares about us. Every time I saw Josh, he, and he saw us, he had a smile on his face. And it, it, it made him, it made him, like, I could just tell how happy he was being around us. I didn't realize how important it was going to be until looking back on it now. And I really credit the boys with being off dialysis. And that's when Josh truly took them under his wing. I told him from the get go, especially a couple of them, I wasn't going to, I, I wasn't going to leave. I was here for the long haul. And I told him from, basically from the get go that I want to see him graduate high school, graduate college. He was here to help us. Uh, and, you know, I, we give a whole lot of credit to Josh. He's helped uh, a lot of us, you know, just through, uh, through middle school and through high school and, uh, you know, through sports. And uh, he, he's very, he's, he's a great guy all the way around. Whether it's taking these now senior boys out bowling, helping them study, or just giving them life advice. Josh has been there for these boys. <laughs> but the impact on one of them goes even deeper. Without Josh, I'd probably be in jail somewhere, to tell you the truth. I, I, as a freshman, I was a bad kid, and I just, I just hung out with the wrong crew. And as life went on, I realized Josh is here to help me, and I'm glad he is, you know. If it wasn't for Josh, I don't think I'd be half the athlete, half the man I am today. The athletics is important, but my main goal and my main thing that I want is to become good men. Do it again. And what he's given the boys, they have also given to him. They've made me a better father from the get-go, because I actually had, I had those boys before I really had children. And I know 15 years from now, whenever my girls are, you know, going through high school and everything else, that. I can look back on my relationships with these guys and they've, they've made me a better man and I, that's why I just hope I've done the same thing for them. It hits me, you know. I just, I love Josh to death and I'm glad we are where we are today and I'm glad he's still here with us. Those seniors dedicated their season to Josh, but the day he has circled on his calendar isn't the state championship on December 19th. For him, it's Friday, May 29th. Sweetwater's graduation.